Thank you very much. The next talk will be an anatomy and scan demo of the sensory skin nerves that you see here. We will start with the lateral antebrachial cutaneous nerve or the, uh, the cutaneous nerve of the forearm. Here you see its nerve's territory and the skin area innervated by it. Now here's a close-up still ultrasound image of the nerve in the mid upper arm between the biceps and brachialis. You can see that once again here with the nerve highlighted in the fascia lining between the two muscles. Here you see it at the elbow level. Below is the elbow joint with the cartilage and the nerve is right superficial there. Now let's do the scan demo here. So we start in the upper arm, sort of mid upper arm where you can see the brachial artery and you can see the nerve branching out in the biceps brachii, but the main branch highlighted here will be the cutaneous nerve of the lateral forearm. And when we go distal scanning, you can see it running between the fascial linings there of biceps and brachialis. Remember brachialis is the muscle on the humerus that becomes quite big when you go distal. Now here the nerve surfaces and we need to adjust the depth setting to get a nice view of it. So it's in that circle there, going back and forth a little bit here. You can see it trying to surface through the fascia so it will end up where every sensory nerve can be found, just in the deeper layers of the subcutaneous tissue. There's a little loss of gel contact here with the stripe artifact, but there's the nerve again, right in the middle of the screen. Now we go slightly distal and it becomes, it's below the basilic vein right here. And you can see another large vein joining it. So because of the vein, there's a nice shine through effect. You can also see another nerve at the elbow level here, which is the radial that is just about to split in two parts. So the arrow will highlight the lateral cutaneous nerve of the forearm below the vessel and the radial nerve about to split here below brachial radialis. Let's go on to the medial antebrachial cutaneous nerve. This is a direct branch of the inferior trunk of the brachial plexus that can be found subcutaneous from the proximal forearm on the medial side. You can see a dissection image here. Just as any other sensory skin nerve, it's in the deep layer of the subcutis. And it can be found just between media, the median and ulnar nerve. So we're going to put the probe here. You can see the uh, ulnar nerve highlighted here below that big vein. But if you look closely, and the probe will be moved a little bit, you already saw that there were some sensory branches running next to it. So there's the medial cutaneous nerve of the forearm. It's usually in the vicinity of this large venous structure. And it's always just above the fascia lining in the deeper layer of the subcutis. Now you see the ulnar nerve crossing it underneath. So they're now right on top of each other, highlighted here. And when we go distal, you can see that the medial antebrachial cutaneous nerve actually goes a little more posterior, but it will branch any second now. So I think we're gonna see a split of the nerve anytime soon. There we are. So you can just see the nerve split in two branches highlighted here. There's the single, and if we go distal, there's the two branches of the nerve, always just above the fascia. So from this point on, you would have to choose with whichever branch you would like to follow. Let's move on to the uh, a case of medial cutaneous nerve injury. This will tell itself. It's someone who's been who've had uh, ulnar neuropathy surgery multiple times. And after the third attempt, there was pain and hypesthesia in the region of the medial cutaneous nerve of the forearm. Now, just to remember, this is the normal anatomy. The image credit is for the Nysora site, which is pretty nice if you're looking at nerve ultrasound. And here is a small recap of the normal ultrasound anatomy for you, where we can see that nerve in the subcutaneous tissue, the deepest layer. 
And here's a measurement showing it's two square millimeters large in this person. And here's a case video of the lady with the injury after ulnar nerve surgery. So it's not a pretty ultrasound picture, but you can see the medial cutaneous nerve there and a swelling all of a sudden. And that is a neuroma. And after that, the nerve could not be found anymore. So the nerve is 12 square millimeters here, six times the normal size. Um, <clears throat> the location was in the, <clears throat> next to the scar. So most likely this is a skin retractor lesion. Let's move on to the leg. <clears throat> Sorry. In the proximal leg, you have the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve or lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh, as it's currently called. And the landmark is the spina iliaca anterior superior. You can see the nerve highlighted right next to it. So here's an anatomy image with the corresponding drawing. Um, and we can pick up that nerve in the region of the aces and usually just a little distal to it. You have the patient undress, put a towel over the midsection, and then you scan the nerve in a small fat area between the two muscles, the sartorius and the rectus femoris. It's a small nerve. So we can see it here, just distal from the aces in that small fat, subcutaneous fat triangle, basically between sartorius and the um, rectus femoris. The probe has moved a little distal here. So we're now moving towards the midline where you can see the femoral artery and the femoral nerve coming into view. And if you follow the hip and groin ligament back out, you can see the sartorius, rectus femoris and tensor fascia lata, all these muscles. And where they sort of meet, there is the location of the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh. So always the same region, just above the fascia in the deeper layer of the subcutaneous tissue. And just as any sensory skin nerve, it's usually two to four square millimeters large. This one is 2.3. Now we can follow the nerve a little more distally as you can see, and it's gonna split. This nerve branches a lot. So there are many branches here. This is the first split, and now you will have to choose whichever branch you want to follow. Okay, we're gonna go back up towards the superior anterior iliac spine. That is a difficult region because the nerve will dive deep with a very sharp bend once you get to that spine level. But here you can still see it and it takes a little tilting to highlight it. You need a ultrasound setting with good anisotropy sensitivity and it's still there within the fascia. And it's also easier to see if you move the probe a little bit because you can see whatever part of the image the nerve is moving with you. So there it is between the fascia layers. And if we go a little more proximal, then you will lose it because it will take a sharp bend and go deeper. Now, finally, in this presentation, we're taking a look at the sural nerve. There are several anatomical variations, but usually it has a double origin, a lateral sural nerve and a medial sural nerve, one coming from the fibular nerve and the other from the tibial at the level of the knee fold. Now it's easiest to pick up where you also pick it up with EMG conduction studies. So at about 14 centimeters proximal to the ankle. And you can see it here in the lower leg over the calf muscles, and it's sort of next to the small um, saphenous vein. It's as any other skin nerve, just above the fascia in the deeper layer of the subcutaneous area. And you can see it has several fascicles here. Sorry about the small air artifact there. We are quite distal now because you can see gastroc is turning into the Achilles tendon and soleus is still underneath. And here's a small case example of a patient who had vasculitis. And we wanted to check the sural nerve to see if it was able, uh, if it was suitable for biopsy. And it is because there's edema surrounding it in the circuitous and there's increased vascularization of that nerve. So very likely it is involved in the vasculitic process. It also had abnormal nerve conduction. Now, obviously this is also a nerve you can and want to measure at some point. So then you just freeze the image again. You select your measurement tool, in this case, the ellipse. 
cut the nerve in two lengthwise, so the two mirror halves, and then you uh, fit the tool. And you can see that it's 1.9 square millimeters almost. Now here's an example, a longitudinal image of a stump neuroma of the sural nerve following a biopsy. And you can see the transfers video here. This is the normal sural nerve. And here you can see that normal nerve becoming a bulbous structure and then it's completely gone. This is after the um, resection for diagnostic purposes. Now, finally, we're gonna follow the nerve from the ankle region back up to the knee fold. So we're scanning over the calf, over the fascial uh, and sheathing of the calf muscles. It's in that deep layer of the subcutaneous tissue. There will be a vein somewhere in the vicinity there. And you can track this nerve back up all the way. And you can see there's a little, the subcutaneous region is getting a little more, a little larger. Here's the gastroc muscle coming into view. Nerve is still there, right on top of it, next to the vein. And we're almost at the level of the knee here. And you can see another nerve branch running right next to it. So these will be the double origins. There's a small split there. That was the lateral sural nerve branching off. And here is the medial sural nerve that is gonna meet up with the tibial nerve that's just underneath it at this point. So they are connected now. And on the left, you can see the fibular nerve also attaching. And now we're at the level of the sciatic split. So thank you for watching this demo of the sensory skin nerves. I hope you enjoyed.